Good morning, everybody. This is Molly. How are y'all doing today? Well, I've made another mini, and not so many mini, but it's awfully pretty. And I love the paper line. It's the Prima Sunkissed Collection. And isn't it pretty? Just as sweet and ready for spring and summer as it could be. This is a Heidi Grace. Um, it's actually fabric stitched. I bought it from Joann's and uh, put it on the cover because I wanted to be able to put this in a bookshelf and also I didn't add too much depth or anything to the cover. Oh, sorry, I'm a little out of focus. Does it catch up? But anyway, uh, the mini is I think about, um, if I'm remembering right, it was seven by nine inches. And uh, let's get started. So this is the Sunkiss collection. And what you'll notice I did was I used the uh, Laura Dennison Stack the Deck um, binding method that she has. And I used 10 pages, so it made it really, really thick. And when this was attached, when I went to open the book, it was like, oh, it was fighting itself and wanting to pull away. So I just took, and where this back paper, you know, comes around, I, of course, put my Xyron, uh, you know, I took some of that broadcloth fabric, put it on Xyron, and so it's around underneath this fabric, so it's holding it more securely there. And I undid this so that it was uh, loose and gave the book a little more play. So there's the inside cover. Here's this. This was cut out on my Cricut, the word hope. And then I just double layered it. This is, of course, the Tim Holtz doily die. And then I just made, and that actually just holds that little thing like a handle. And then here's a little insert here. This little label was from the paper line. There's one of the sheets as a cutout sheet. Isn't the paper just as pretty as it could be? And then, of course, it's got lots of large tags where a 4x6 uh, picture will go right on it. There's some distress stickles on there and some pretty iridescent ribbons. And then just solid paper in the back. It's a paper bag. Uh, many and of course with the name family it's going to hold lots of uh family photos again isn't the paper so pretty um a tag in here got a little punch out and some fabric trim i mean a ribbon trim there this is one of the journaling cards and of course i just popped it up to where something will go behind it back side just a couple of layered uh flowers some sun um sun dyed excuse me lindy stamp gang dyed um you know, the rayon bias tape uh, trim and that pretty paper. Okay, I'll quit saying pretty paper after a while, but I just love the line. Uh, and y'all probably maybe remember that old uh, flower trim I bought a long time ago. And then I've used some of the uh, cute little sayings, may the road ahead and your journey be all you imagined it to be. There's just a piece of ribbon with some trim. I hope this is blurry. And then every other page is a paper bag and every other page is just a piece of uh, chipboard. And the paper pretty. And you can see here where I layered some flowers. Used some pretty old lace there. This is the uh, piece where the paper bag poked up. So I just used it to hold uh, one of the journaling cards and then another uh, kind of pocket here tore a piece of paper there and then just made myself a journaling card out of this this actually opens up so I have a little bit more room inside there Lindy stamp gang one of the uh, flowers pretty little button and then just made myself a little peekaboo kind of book there oh I think this paper is just so pretty uh, sorry, I'm having to go back and forth. Hope I'm not making y'all sick. Punched up edge there in that print, just the softest, most subtle print. And then this side has um, some journaling tags in it. Nothing great is, was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Little crochet, crocheted flower and button, butterfly. Just a little piece that pokes up. One of the journaling spots, a piece of ribbon and some layered flowers. That's sweet. This is actually two journaling spots. I just glued them back to back so they'd be cute. This, of course, you recognize the uh, Tim Holtz wood grain embossing folder. Again, some of the rayon bias tape, seam binding, and uh, I'm saying bias tape, excuse me, I mean seam binding there. Another piece of the paper. Those are some of the pretty buttons. Can you see how it's etched? That I bought from um, Hobby Lobby. They were so pretty. Pretty tag. Okay, let me poke those back in so I don't have as much to pick up later. Let me see how quick I can get them in. Yeah, pretty easy. 
Okay, paper bag here. Inside here is just a cute tag. This was one of the chipboard pieces from the line. I just backed it so when it poked out there, it would be as cute. Turn to this side, ooh, excuse me. And uh, again, just the pretty paper. If you can see that bicycle there, I hope it's clearer for you. Uh, and then this, I just took a little piece of paper square and cut out the four corners with one of the uh, Martha Stewart punches, crochet flower button, as you can see. Just some of the pretty paper. That pokes on the front of there. Another piece here. This is from Glitz Designs. It's just a piece of transparency, whoop, which actually pokes up. I've got it glued down there, but I thought it went so pretty here. Another piece of the chipboard. Isn't that paper so pretty? And then there, just some layered flowers. Another piece of the chipboard from Prima. Put a key on top of that, because family is the key to happiness, huh? And then um, there's some lace behind a flower. Another one of the pretty vintage looking buttons from my uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I made a little, there's one of the journaling cards. Just made a little, uh, you know, place to put pictures on there. Isn't that pretty? Just sweet little ribbons and trims. I, the paper is just so sunny. I just can't wait to uh, get some pictures in it. Okay, this tag may be a little over the top. I put some tulle on the front, layered some flowers. Used a pretty brad on there. This one's one of the new uh, Jolie's um, French General pieces and a couple of layered flowers. Hope you can tell that that's a, the softest shade of just sunny, sunny green. There the, okay, I'm going to say it again. I'm sorry, but the papers are so pretty and just perfect for this time of the year. Here's some old ribbon I used from, I think, Making Memories. Again, layered some flowers, put a little fiber behind them, a pretty little gold button. Another piece of the chipboard, put little stickles on the butterfly, a little gold in the center there. Isn't that pretty? And then this piece uh, I had cut out. Isn't that cute? Just cut a piece, you know, a punch out, layered it, and then uh, put some stickles on it so it'd be cute, showing off the paper. Backside just as plain as it could be. This is one of the chipboard pages. So actually this tag came out of here. I've got ahead of myself, sorry. Put it back in there. Okay, this page again, just kind of plain. Used one of the little uh, stickers. This again is where the paper bag sticks up. So I just made it a little thing. There's no purpose to this other than it's cute. This is a piece of K and Company um, ephemera. It came with the Tim Coffee line, I believe, from summer. Just thought the sunflowers went. The back of here is a piece of, you know, my dyed uh, seam binding. And of course it's loose so you can stick something underneath there if you want to poke something under. Isn't that cute? Just put a little butterfly sticker on there. And there's the tag I showed you a minute ago. And then the paper bag, extra large and roomy size. Here's another one of the tags. Again, just layered the flowers up. Used my own little uh, inserts in there. Embossed some paper here. Sanded it down just a little bit. And then just have one of the journaling tags in there. That's cute. So lots and lots of pages. Uh, room for pictures. Get in a pocket. And some of the Recollections flowers. Pretty, just cute seam binding again. Little stamp back of the paper. Paper's cute. See, I didn't say pretty that time, I said cute. This one's just, I'm saying plain, but I just used the paper uh, to show it, show off the paper. Just a solid yellow cardstock on the back. Oop, excuse me. And in this page, I just love the paper so much. I copied some of the things that you ladies are doing out there and made myself a little flip section just because the papers are so pretty. Want to show them off. Just happy, happy uh, with it. This page right here used some ribbon that I had gotten from uh, 
archivers on a spool. I have in a couple of colors. Cut myself something else out from the Cricut. And then this butterfly is just actually a Martha Stewart punch. And then I just used some different Tim Holtz inks to try to color it up to match the uh, butterfly on the paper, excuse me. Okay. That's some pretty lace right there. These are some um, Petaloo Tiffany's flowers that I got off Scrap Ace or Peachy Cheap. I'm not real sure. It was a great, great, great deal they had a couple of weeks ago. And you see with the Tiffany centers, what they're cute. Uh, again, a pocket page. So you'll notice on the paper bags, you know, like every other page, I glued it down. And every other page, I just kind of left them up like flaps. This is just showing the papers off again. Oh, that's so cute. This is the brick uh, Tim Holtz. This was an embossing folder I used. Oh gosh, isn't that pretty? And then one of the, uh, some of the flowers, that one was already pre-glittered from Prima. And then the one behind it was uh, just one of the Prima flowers, but I used some Tim Holtz, a couple of different colors to inky it. Some pretty ribbon. I'm getting low on this ribbon. It was from Michael's a while back and I just loved it. I bought it in a couple of colors. I'm getting low on it now, Ooh, so I, uh, I'm kind of hating to think about running out, but I love using it. Okay, that goes back in there. And we're getting to the end here. This back page is just pretty papers. And it just says, trust, trust yourself and you'll know how to live. And uh, there I just, these little tags came, you know, there's a piece of the paper that's a die cut page. Just put a little uh, heart, you know, paper clip on there and have those tags stuck underneath there. The back of the last page of the book is just pretty paper. And there's the back of the book. Ladies and gentlemen, I just love the collection. Sun Kiss from Prima. Hope you enjoyed the album. Going as fast as I can, not to bore you to death with it. But uh, just loved how it turned out. So hope you enjoyed and are having fun scrapping. Thank you all so much. Leave a comment. Bye-bye.